You've got a big job ahead of you because you're looking to push Kia really up market, aren't you? Yeah, well, we see other uh, luxury brands coming down into our space. Uh, we have customers coming in asking for more technology, more features and attributes on the car, bigger cars. And so we say, hey, why not? If, if the luxury brands can come down and customers are asking for it from a Kia, why can't we move up? Fair enough. Turnabout is fair play, right? Absolutely. And uh, if they're going to make two liter four cylinders, you can make a five liter V8, which exactly. is what you do on the K900. Correct, which is uh, now on sale, uh, starting in the west and through the southern markets, coming to the northeast and the midwest uh, late May, early June. So, yep, yeah, the, the others are doing it. Why can't we? And talk to me about the technology, because I, I notice when I see it, it's got really striking headlights. It's got those LED, full LED headlights, which is the kind of thing you only see on uh, top of the line Audis and, and BMWs, right. but they actually move when you go into corners. Yeah, it's, it's adaptive uh, headlamps, and it's again, it's available on a lot of the other luxury vehicles. We, you know, benchmarked the best in the industry, and uh, we've got a vehicle that comparably equipped is is just as good, if not better, than uh, many of the other luxury and vehicles. It, it is sixty-six thousand dollars, so it's not like you're coming in here and asking nothing for it. It's, right. a, it's, a, it's a fair amount of money, isn't it? Well, that, that's the fully loaded vehicle. So the V8 will start off uh, around 58000 But and I check every you, box. You every check every box. box. Exactly. Yeah. But, and you should because, again, with the Kia, you're getting a comparably equipped vehicle versus a Mercedes, a BMW, an Audi for thousands of dollars less. Okay, so that's the one that caught my eye right away. Yep. I'm a single man just with a dog, you know. But Pim Fox, who's anchoring this show, is a family man, and he's looking for a minivan. The Sedona is the one that you actually unveiled here at the New York Auto Show. Correct. Actually, you unveiled it with USA Today in, right. a, in, a, in a big public relations move on Monday, but it's the new vehicle. Tell me Correct. about it. Well, actually, we're calling it a multi-purpose vehicle because it's more than just a minivan. Really, the United States market is really the only market that calls them minivans. Around the world, it's a multi-purpose vehicle. It's targeted at uh, people who have very active lifestyles, whether they're families or empty nesters. You need the functionality, you need the safety, you need the technology. But now you want more than that. You want a great looking vehicle, and that's what the Sedona is. It looks very CUV-ish. It doesn't have the traditional kind of ho-hum minivan design. CUV, was that city urban vehicle? Sorry, yeah, yeah. It, it's a, cross a crossover urban vehicle. Crossover right. urban vehicle. Exactly. A lot of acronyms in this, in this space. Uh, what do you think you need to do, or is it, is it just the product, um, or is it important to do the right kind of advertising to get to boost the image up uh, a little bit so that people are going to come in and pay? Uh, Fifty thousand dollars. Well, for first of all, it, of course, in our business, it is all about the product, and of course, the marketing helps drive people into the showroom. But in this business, very competitive nowadays. The competition is intense, and so we have to differentiate ourselves. One way that we differentiate ourselves is design, but also technology, safety, and of course, value. And Super Bowl ads. Super Bowl ads. Yes, we use Lawrence Fishburne to help introduce the K900 to the American public. He did a great job of really introducing the vehicle as an alternative to traditional luxury brands like the Mercedes and the BMWs. What he said was, you know, here is something that isn't traditional. Uh, there's a new way to look at luxury. It's based on design and it's based on technology.